Okay, here we are at Cadora State Park Campground in Loop A. We're staying this weekend. Um, Loop A seems to be a little more quiet than the rest. Loop C was packed with RVs um, right next to each other, so we chose Loop A because it seemed the most quiet. Okay, this is Site 31, which is really, really nice. The only downfall I saw was that it's right next to the bathrooms, um, which can be lit up really bright at night in some campgrounds, so we didn't choose this one, but it's uh, probably the nicest campground, uh, campsite, excuse me, I've seen in this loop. Okay, this is site um, 28, which is, uh, which is pretty nice. That's Got an open field past it where there's some RVers, but uh, that's a nice site. As well as uh, the next site's, the next site's okay. It's not quite as flat. It's a little more, more packed. Um, that is site 27, Loop A. This site also isn't bad. That's a nice site. Wouldn't mind having that one. And that is site 25. And then this is the site right across from where we're staying, which is very nice. I just didn't choose it because it's close to that road past there, but this is a nice open site with a canopy of trees. Site 23, and we are staying in site 24. which is very quiet. It's kind of close to these other two sites. Um, as long as nobody comes in, we'll, we'll have plenty of room. The site itself has plenty of room. Um, it's not quite as flat as those other ones I showed you, but it's nice. Okay, the bathroom facilities here are fairly modern and clean. I've got two shower stalls here and two bathroom stalls, two urinals and three sinks. And this bathroom is all well kept and it is fairly modern okay and here are the wash basins at night this is this whole area is lit up so if you wish to wash your dishes after dark you may do so okay here we are <clears throat> next day um, we got a little bit of rain last night it was pretty peaceful there was kids over to my left that were raising heck um, till about 10 o'clock and then you didn't hear a peep out of them so that was good um, you can see the camp entrance lights <clears throat> at night. I'm glad we chose this loop instead of C, which I said was packed with RVs and they're running their generators today. And uh, B, B wasn't the greatest, so I think we picked the right loop. Um, A is perfect. There's no one around us, so it's a pretty nice sleep, pretty nice morning. Okay, here we are trying disc golf for the first time. We're on the uh, the blue course, which we think is more in the trees. And Jill's going to take her first shot. Okay, this looks like it's a par four. I, I'm not good at frisbee. Neither am I. I'm probably going to hit that tree. Just don't hit the cars. Yeah, that's <laughs> I think you threw it better than I did. Okay, quiet on the green. It's gonna be the hard part here. What do I hit, in the top or? In the bottom, it's fine. Or in the top. So what is that for you? Okay, just coming up on our 51st throw. Just kidding. Okay, it landed in here somewhere off of T3. I have no idea where it is. Somewhere in there. This looks like fun, huh?
Jill and her emu. How is it, Jill? It's nice. Is it cocoony enough for you? Well, if I sit in it this way, I'm less cocooned. Okay. okay.